So today we've got a young lady that's 21. She's got uh, left shoulder pain for over two years and she also has mid back pain uh, and uh, upper back pain, uh, which is especially worse after sleeping, uh, she's had for about a year. Uh, we've done the exam on her. We found that she's got a hyperkyphosis and a rotatory scoliosis. And uh, we also discovered uh, now that uh, she has uh, a thoracic outlet syndrome caused by a con uh, contraction of the uh, middle scalenes on the left with weakness of pec minor and pec major middle and upper heads. She's got uh, intervertebral dyskinesia in the lower neck at C5-6 which would also compress the nerves and a lot in the area where the gibosity of the curvature is in the mid-thoracic area. We're going to do some manipulation on her now, mainly osteopathic manipulation with trigenics muscle reprogramming. So we're going to start right now. Cut this here. Let's get started. All right, so she's getting pain down the left arm into the hand. Uh, the condition in the back is worse at night. We haven't checked all of that, but in the spine back here, we've got the beginning of this video here uh, on the other camera, but uh, basically if we look at her spine from here, you see quite a hunching in here and a curvature. This is where she gets most of her pain in here. And then she's also getting pain in the front. As soon as I press in this area, she starts to feel quite a bit of discomfort. That's pec minor right there. And it's quite bad. Now pec minor contraction can cause compression of the neurovascular bundle going down into the arm, very common cause of it. The other thing that causes it is this middle scalene here. And if you watch, stay filming from there, the neck muscle, you see the reaction that she's taking. She can't stand that. It's very, very, very painful. So this middle scalene, if we look at it there, you can see is uh, contracted. And then if we also compress the uh, posterior facets at C5-6, she's in terrible pain there. You see her grimacing and trying to move away from the pain. Uh, as opposed to the other side, she doesn't do anything. So she has probably compression at about three levels here going into this arm and that's why this shoulder and here her is hurting as well as the uh, nerves going into the shoulder. So we're going to do some trigenics on this today. We're going to open up this uh, middle scaling. We're going to open up this um, the contraction of this uh, pec minor now. So the pec minor is weak. It doesn't seem to be that short and the middle pec and upper pecs are weak and the middle scalene is short. C5-6 is rotated in the neck causing some compression there even though on the x-rays it doesn't look like there's a lot going on there. The MRI would probably show that there's probably a bit of a disc bulge, even though she's only 21, it definitely happens at this age pretty commonly, and I see enough of it. Now we're going to check these segments down in here, and then after that we're going to start the treatment and to help alleviate her symptoms. So we're going to come down into the area where she's got the pain, and there it is there, she's jumping a little bit. So that's T6 on the right, it's badly twisted. This bone in your back, is your spine is quite badly twisted here. You feel the pain there? Quite badly, right? Yeah. Bolos, yeah? Maga <laughs> a lot, a lot of pain, right? Six and seven, eight are left. Eight is left. Eight is right, I should say. So I'm gonna mark those down. And we're gonna do some manipulation on those segments for her. She's strong. Hoya to Gusti? Hoya? Gusti, uh, uh, turn it, uh, uh, increase. In English, okay. You feel, oh, sorry, yeah, you feel more strong now, don't yeah, you? Yeah. A lot stronger. You can hold it now, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
and you feel before you couldn't hold it? Yeah, I just heard it so <laughs> uh, Okay, now you're going to experience the manipulation. Don't be afraid. You're going to hear some loud noises. Maybe it will scare you a bit, but we have to move the bones a little bit now, okay? Yeah, I'm going to So this part of her spine is incredibly stiff. Uh, it's not manipulating or moving very well. So, it's uh, almost, I almost need to see a lateral view. All they did was take a chest x-ray, even though her pain is also on the mid-back. I guess they were looking for you know, possible lung origins because it's in that lobe there, it's in that area where they would think that there's a lobe going to down. Uh, so, um, you know, they took a little chest x-ray, but what I need, I need to see probably a lateral thoracic, a mid-lateral view, side view of her mid-back, because this is not responding as well as I want it to. So, you may want to look and see why is it that it's so hard in there. Now we're going to do this manipulation. Move us. Oh! Oh! Good. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to see if there's anything else we need to do. Right here, just a little bit right here. The box has to the box a little bit. And there it was. Mm -hmm. okay. How much better does it feel? Like everywhere? Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I don't know why I'm like a little bit shaky right now. It's a little shaky, yeah? Yeah, yeah, but it's like. Kind of a shock, right? Yeah, but it's like good shaking, not bad shaking. Good shaking, <laughs> not, bad, not bad shaking, good shaking. Yeah. That's what we like. All right, that means the whole nervous system has just been rattled a little bit there. When you're doing manipulations that dramatic, that close to the brain, you definitely affect blood flow and nerve supply, that's for sure. So she's feeling it. Uh, but uh, the only thing that concerns me now is the mid-back. It wasn't uh, responding as well as I'd like. So we're going to rec recommend that she gets a lateral thoracic and comes back next month, and we'll take another look at it then. This is Dr. Oma, Dr. Oshaw. Thanks a lot for watching our Trigenics video today. Make sure that you subscribe to the Trigenics YouTube channel so that you're always sent information on the latest Trigenics techniques and methods, as well as the latest Trigenics success stories. This is Dr. O and the Dr. O Show.